Hello, Nuno. Hello, Fernando. We're back here for part two of Micro Kate's tips and tricks. <laughs> oh, uh, hi again. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi again. Hi again. Hi again. Oh, yours, Nuno. Go ahead, mate. All right, so this one will be a bit shorter. Um, so we were discussing here uh, how we could maybe add another node, but let's do it in a, let's say, in a small step up now. It's maybe 200. And I will just explain something that we can create multipass VM. So we will be back to multipass just for uh, just for a little bit. And then uh, we'll go back to micro -Kate. Okay, so let me share my screen. Here we go, and here we go. So for now, if I do a multipass list, I just have my microcates VM running. Okay. Um, if I go to the to the dashboard, I can also see there's only this one node running for microcates. So we left where we were before. So the goal will be to add. If you remember for, from the first video, we could add other nodes. So let's add another node. So for that, we will need to create with multipass this time, no micro -cates, uh, a new node that will accept it. But to do that, actually, we will be using something. So I just prepared the YAML file here, but we will be using the cloud init. Um, functionality or feature if you want from canonical that is also used in Azure by the way and what we will do here is like we will create a new multipass VM that will update directly the system so it will do the apt update for us and apt upgrade for us it will then run a snap commands by installing micro -cates directly then it will add our account Ubuntu because it's the default one, right? When we create a new multipass VM into uh, micro -cates. And finally, it will add uh, the snap bin into the environment, but we will see why actually. Uh, it will add the snap bin into your, um, uh, into your pass, okay? So now for that, when we do multipass and again the launch, I will add the name, remember? So let's do the Fernando node again. That was perfect. However, now we will pass it like a config file and then I will do this one and finally which distro, okay? I will click run okay sorry so i will always mess up that part so launch dash dash help and it was not config file it was cloud init okay my bad let's do it again cloud init and then my cloud init file so here it will start creating the nodes so it will retrieve focal fossa first the image so micro case remember that we did the micro case one just before and this one actually is running still on 1804 i guess they will be adding up uh, the 2004 very soon okay now it will do the verification no problem so until until here we don't have anything changed from our normal micro -cates that we just did before or the first time that we did the the multipass launch without the cloud in it okay so configuring so this part will take a little bit more time again sorry i wanted to play with the the network we can see that fernando node is now running Okay, right. so it's starting. And here, look, let me see if I click connect. Can we see? Yeah, beautiful. So it's just starting the VM here now. Okay, so here we will stop it here from the view, of course. But what we don't see now, so let me close this page here. 
what we don't see it here is like it didn't complete it yet. So now it's entering our cloud in its setup. OK, so it's doing the update might take just a, a small time. Then um, let me put the YAML file. Here, OK, so that's the YAML file. Let me zoom in. Can I zoom in? Control plus. So. Uh, all right, so again, doing this one here, then it will do the snap. Let me just put it here like that. OK, and George, sorry, I'll say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> then adding my commands or adding the user Ubuntu into the group micro case that is created after and now that's important. That's uh, like Vagrant, I guess. It's like sequential, OK? So you go from top to bottom. Look at this. OK, beautiful. So now we can see that it ended. So normally, if now I do not a shell, but I do a multipass exec, so I will execute something into my Fernando node, I will pass the double dash so like that it's just saying like okay from now on it's like commands that you need to run inside the VM and now let me do directly a micro case status. Look at this done. Right. It's it's okay. No more. You don't need to shell in. You don't need to to do the update yourself. You don't need to update the snap. This cloud in it really is like incredible. Now, just one small step here, a tip and trick, if you want, from the the Corsair here. I added into the environment file because when you do multipass exec, so you're just running an uh, let's say a command inside the VM. It's you are in non-interactive shell. Okay. So if you don't have these in environment, the snap bin, it will tell you like, OK, sorry, but micro case, I don't know what you mean. OK, so this is just a small tip and trick that if you need to run exec and you install new software, add it here into the etc environment file. OK, so now. You know the rest, right? So let's do a micro case again. I have my micro case. I will add a node it will send me back the commands soon here we go and now i will just copy the join here actually i can copy everything i will copy everything here and i will do the multi pass exec again so no need to shell in fernando nodes and I will pass it this one press enter and now let's go back to our dear friend here and soon enough we will see Fernando node appearing in our Kubernetes cluster let's see if we see some second line appearing here OK, this is done. And now if I maybe refresh the page. Oh, OK, 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 my bad, my bad, my friend, my bad. Did I? Oh, yeah, I came out. All right, sorry. So let's do again the dashboard proxy here. No, no, just to make clear, if you haven't watched the part one, we created like a, a micro Kate VM before, and now we have like two micro Kates, and we just putting these together. Yep, exactly. And because they are both using uh, or being used in multipass, okay, so here you see I have micro Kate VM that was created automatically by micro Kates, and then I have Fernando node that is created from the cloud init file or with the cloud init file that we just gave up. So, and that's it. Done. Uh, I have my second notes. Cool. Questions? Are robots still running there? Uh, 
So no, I I cancelled the robot actually. Oh, good. So it's before. all good. Yeah. So. Uh, but here is like you can add maybe several of them. Maybe there's a way of uh, reusing in a smart way uh, the cloud units. I don't know if you have like a scale up with multipass, but uh, I, I once you have your cloud init file, really, I mean it's. Uh, Okay, Again. I will, I will research and show it on the next video when I will show how to open the container with the robot on edge, right? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks for always are being awesome sharing these good tips of us. Yeah, it was great. Just one question, on like um, they don't have to install any extension like plugins on on the on the second node. Because that will be part of the the first node, the microcates node. Microcates manager will manage it for us, actually. And you're going to enable DNS and everything on the second node as well. Okay, that's so, great. Exactly. Okay, Good. guys, thank you. It was great. I have cool. two options thank now. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.